and welcome to Yak Talk. Today is the second part in our three-part series on whether the new Star Trek series coming out in 2017 will take place in the Prime Universe or the New Universe. And most of our arguments are going to focus on the relationship of the executive producers. The only two people announced so far affiliated with the product are, are Alex Kurtzman and Heather Kendine. And both of these people have a lot of strong ties back to the new universe. Now, let's start talking about by Alex. Now, Alex here, he worked on both of the new movies with Robert Orsi and J.J. Abrams. I mean, he was very heavily involved in both those movies as producers and executive producers. He also, as an executive producer, their main job is to be the liaison to the financiers and the executives, so the studio executives. So executive producers don't have a ton of say, but they also control the money and they also raise money from financiers, which means Alex is probably going to get money from the people he knows. The people he knows funded his other projects, such as Amazing Spider-Man and the other Star Trek movies. And these people are going to want to see their portfolio because they have money in the new Star Trek universe. If the new series takes place in the new Star Trek movies, the two work off each other. It supports the entire portfolio. So that's... In Alex's case, it's going to make sense for him. He's going to go to those people, and those people are going to want that. Even with, and he's already has ties to it, so the more of the new universe better is the better for him. And although executive producers don't have a ton of artistic say, we all know the gold plus latinum rule. Whoever has the gold plus latinum gets to make the rules. Like, that's how it works. Second, Alex likes to redo things. He likes to put his own stamp on things. He's not someone who is going to continue what's happening. You can see that with The Amazing Spider-Man. You can see that the new Star Trek movies. So even if he stays in the Prime Universe, it's going to look very different. It'll be a very different show than probably what we're used to. Also, there's been a lot of times since the last series, and Star Trek has always been a reflection of our time, so it's going to look different. Third, let's talk a little bit more about Heather Candine. Heather Candine has strong relationships with J.J. Abrams and Robert Orsi, just like Alex does. And that's going to influence her decision-making in the exact same way it's influencing... Alex when it comes to funding and financing and what she's going through with the series. The other interesting thing about Heather is that her current project is the Limitless television series, which is actually not a remake of the movie, it is kind of following where the movie left off and continuing the story with new characters. And that points heavily that that's her experience, that's what she's been working on, and maybe that's what she's bringing to the table. How do you continue a television series from, a, from movie content in parallel? that's pretty strong evidence that's going to be in the new universe that she's bringing at the table. Once again, both of these people are executive producers. No one else has been announced. I feel like I'm making some wild guesses here, but I'm working with what I have. If you have anything additional you'd like to add, please feel free to put in the comments. The next post will be comparing the arguments back and forth and me giving a kind of decision or prediction, but oh well. We're not working with a lot here, and we'll find out probably a lot more in the next six to eight months. Thanks so much for listening. Keep living the life fantastic.